Most people went to bed and still don't know who won. Yeah, now they know. On the Money Watch this morning, is your family on track when it comes to tucking away money to send your kids to college? Well, experts say that for a child today, you can expect that four-year cost of tuition, room and board, and those expensive books to run up to $190,000 per child. That's based on the average in-state tuition rates at an annual 5% increase. But our good buddy Joe Bird of Certified Financial Group says, you know what? It's more like a 7% increase every year. He is the Oracle of Orlando. He's here to talk money Monday. Hey, Joe, good to see you. Good morning, you. Amy. So let's talk about this. With the cost of college skyrocketing, what as parents can you do to be proactive here? Because these numbers are astonishing. We're going to get to those numbers in a minute, but what do we do? Yeah, it is frightening. Of course, it's like anything in life, whether it's your retirement or saving for college. The earlier you understand what you need to do and the earlier you get started, the better off it is. If you have a child leaving for college next next semester, it's going to be very difficult if you haven't saved anything. That's where the loans come in. The earlier you start and the earlier you you understand what the challenge is, the easier it's going to be. All right, let's talk about the difference sure. between Florida prepaid and 529 plans because a lot of people still get confused, not really sure what the difference is. Sure. Uh, Florida prepay is where you pay the state of Florida X number of dollars. T today, the cost, if you have a newborn, the cost is about $50,000. You plunk down $50,000, it'll cover four years of education for your child. Ten years ago, Amy, surprisingly, you know what that cost was? It was $10,000. Wow. Ten, you could pay $10,000 um, ten years ago for a newborn, and that would guarantee the four years of college and, and so forth. Today, that cost is about $50,000. Now, last week, you, I'm sure you did the story where they're reducing some of that. They're giving some refunds. But really, it, it, it's incredible what college is costing. And it's the arms races going on in college. Colleges are raising their tuition and all the costs of going to college because the money is easy to get for college students. The, the uh, loans that they can get, don't. it's like the real estate bubble we talked about last week. Joe, let's talk about these sure. numbers about where you know parents should be as far as savings for their kids because they are astonishing. We're going to put those up on the screen for you. We're starting with elementary elementary age kids, how much you should have saved for elementary school kids right now. Uh, $82,000, really? Yeah, I mean, I mean if, you, if you take the 5% compound rate, that's what it is right now. You need to have $82,000 set aside if, in fact, you're going to cover the full cost of the education for the child. Now, frankly, most pe families don't do that, can't afford to do that. So, But you can save and what you have, recognizing that it's going to cost you a lot more, but the earlier you get started, you use the prepaid college plan or the 529 plan. We didn't touch on that. And that's where you give your money to a, a mutual fund company and you make an investment. The, the advantage of that is if the child, that particular child doesn't go to college, it can be used for any family member. It grows tax free. And if you want to go to school, you can use it for yourself. Right. And, and listen, one of the things that uh, we don't want to scare people too yeah. much is that, listen, you talk to your kids about scholarships and, as you mentioned, subsidized loans and, and all of these different programs out there. A lot of this stuff, a lot of this money goes untouched because people just don't want to tap into it. Yeah. You, you, ought to, you need to talk to your college guy office they can tell you where the money is because they know where the money is they want to get the money so stay in touch if you when the child is, is ready for college the year before get in touch with the college offices and find out where the money is available many schools have grants if the child is a good uh, student good athlete you can get some money no kidding all right uh, Joe Burt certified financial group always great to talk to you on money you money too, thank Amy. you you're